The night before Christmas, by my old friend Clement Seymour. This was written in 1822. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hoped that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and her kerchief, and I and my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh <laughs> and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, oh Comet, oh Cupid, oh Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. <laughs> As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up on the whole housetop, the coursers they flew with sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as a snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round, little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, and I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. My goodness, my goodness. I've been so worried about you children. Oh, I've been so worried about those fires out near Nana's house. Oh, I've been so worried about Nana. 
Oh. Well, I know that Nikki and Victor have got some mighty nice children. Little Brandon, two year old. He likes cars and trucks. And I know all you children like to take care of honey. You know, I bet you didn't know I knew your little doggy. Honey talks to my reindeer. And the reindeer talk to me. So, when there's not an elf on the shelf, I have to use the family pets. Now, I know that all y'all love to visit Nan and Grandpa's house. I know you girls do. I know you had your sleepover on Thursday night. Oh, and I know you're thinking about making them cookies with Nana and saving some for Santa. But no, not this year. Please, 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 not this year. Santa Claus has eaten so many cookies and drank so much milk. Oh, I'm on a bust. <laughs> What I'd like for you to do this year, if you if you don't mind, is I would like for you to take a carrot and cut a carrot into nine pieces, okay? For Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Daughter and Blitzen and Rudolph. And cut that carrot up into nine pieces and leave there in a saucer or on a plate, bowl, whatever, so that I can scoop them up and take them up a chimney with me to uh, feed the reindeer. Okay? That's what I like to do is feed the reindeer some. Alright? Now, uh, Ava Lynn, now I know you're a smart little girl. And I know you're 10 years old and going on 16. And I know you're in fifth grade and that you like to can and bake with Nana. And you already can your own strawberry jam. Oh, I like strawberry jam. Oh, 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 and lemon curd. Oh, and you like Littlest Pet Shop and Shopkins. And, and you want a laptop. And my goodness, a laptop. What would you do with a laptop? <laughs> but I've got it on the list. <laughs> and Elisa, or Lise. I know you like Lilith's Pet Shop and Shopkins, and you like to have an American Girl doll. Wow, those are nice, aren't they? And you're in the third grade. Well, Lisa, I tell you, honey, you're going to have to learn to share more. You're a little bit possessive of stuff. You've got to learn to share, okay? You share more, and we'll see about getting you that American Girl doll. But you've got to be nice. And uh, Chelsea, I know that you like the same toys and that you would like a Barbie house. Well, Chelsea's five years old wanting a Barbie house. That's cute. I don't know for sure if I can get you a Barbie house this year or if I gotta wait till next year, okay? But Santa Claus is gonna get you a Barbie house. I just don't know if it's gonna be this Christmas or next Christmas. But uh, all y'all, all of you now, you need to help your mom around the house. Your mama can't do it all by herself. She needs help cleaning, you know, picking up your room and your clothes and your toys. And uh, y'all, all, all you girls need to help pitch in and, and help take care of Brandon. Because Brandon, you know, he uh, he's a lot for your mama to handle. Well, you know, you try to help. Oh, now. You don't have to help with Brandon. You don't have to. But it helps your mommy and daddy. And it means a lot to them. And I'm sure that they mean a lot to you. And you, you help each other. So if you, can help, if you can help with Brandon, you know mom and daddy will appreciate that. And uh, if I remember correctly, you got a little girl cousin going to show up in February, don't you? Isn't one of your aunts going to have a baby? Oh, that would be another little girl. Another little girl to be in a, the sleepovers at Nana's on Thursday night. <laughs> well, now I don't want you to be disappointed on your wish list this year because did you see all those places that burned? It was so, so sad. 
and there's going to be a lot of children that aren't going to have a Christmas. And I've got to do all I can, all I can do to try to help those that don't have anything. And uh, I'll try to get you whatever I can get you, okay? And I'll try to get what's on your list. But don't be disappointed if you don't get everything you asked for. Because remember, there are some children that don't even have a Christmas tree now, okay? So we got to think about those people that need our help. And that's what Santa Claus does. He always tries to help people. And, uh, and I want to tell you to have a very Merry Christmas. And remember, cut a carrot up in nine pieces. Don't leave me no milk and cookies. <laughs> and do what, do what your Nana says, do what your Grandpa says, and mind your Mommy and Daddy. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. Bye bye.